Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to increase your RAM. If you are thinking to speed things up and you want to increase the RAM capacity, and this video is going to help you to do that. Here I have the Dell Inspiron 5515 and let me go ahead and turn it off. Show you the front of the Dell and here's the back of the Dell. So if you have the same model as I do, Inspiron 5515, then you can follow along with the video and increase your RAM capacity. Here is my Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the 1.5 and let's start removing the screws. You do need to remove all the screws in order to get into the laptop. Now the screws on the top left and the top right corner, they do not come off. You just able to loosen it up to a point that you hear the little click and that's when you need to stop loosening up the screw. So the top left, top right screws, they do not come off. The rest of other screws, you should take it off. They're all the same size, so it is okay if you mix match the screws because it would always go back into the laptop after that. All right, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pop open the back cover. Since the top left and the top right give you a little bit room for you to wiggle, and that's when you want to just unscrew the rest and pop it up. Now here at this point, you can see that the RAM is on the top right corner. You have two RAM slot. So if you leave the plastic cover, you can see that the eight gigabytes DDR4 is on the right first slot. And this is the left on a uh, second slot. Okay. Oh, vice versa. First slot, second slot. Now, how do you going to remove the RAM? Very easy. You just have to push the two side clipper. This two side clipper is like the latch on the clip on the thing. And if you push it up, push it away from each other, it will just open up that RAM. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put it this way. So I'm going to pop it up. Mm, what happened is that this little thing is blocking it okay so when you push it away from each other the rim would pop up at 45 degree angle and you can just slide it away from your body that's how you remove it this is the 8 gigabytes ram pc4 3200 okay let's go ahead and start removing the second one just push it on both sides slide it out at 45 degree angle again 8 gigabytes ram pc4 3200 what you can do is you can upgrade it to 32 meaning that if this is a 16 gigabytes ram ddr4 you can put it right here which is 16 and you can have the secondary 16 put it up there then you would have 32 gigs 16 16 32 all right so at this given moment it is running at 8 by 8 okay 8 and 8 this is a 16 gigs of ram laptop you can upgrade it to 32 gigs of ram all right so if you're not sure where to buy the ram from what i'm going to do is i will link them in the description below they will direct you to either amazon or ebay where you can find a replacement ram uh, with the same 32 megahertz then you can just slot it in and do the installation yourself all right very straightforward make sure that you have the little gap right there and this gap is aligned to the slot at 45 degree line it up and at this point you just want to use the two finger and push it down when you push it down you can hear that little clipper being pushed and it will lock the ram okay so again make sure it's aligned that little slot right there make sure it is aligned with the uh, the ram okay at 45 degree angle and push it in and you can hear the click and clicks and lock the ram in all right 
you don't have to do any settings you don't have to change anything on the windows all your information stay the same on the hard drive nothing will be changed when you increase the ram when you turn it on the ram and the computer would work and recognize um, them together so no settings no nothing that you have to do at this point all right so um, pretty much this is it and you just have to um, put the cover back in cover it up and put the screws all back together all right I hope this video is helpful to you and if you do find the video is helpful please smash the like button for me uh, please go ahead and do that um, I really appreciate and if you haven't subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe ask me any computer question related and I'll try to answer you in the comments comment below and I'll speak to you soon bye now